Since its release, I've been playing and streaming Hyperscape religiously, absolutely falling in love with the movement and fast-paced combat system that rewards high skill. However, since day one, I've had a massive issue with MicroStar, and I noticed a lot of other people are having the same issue as well with older generations of CPUs in particular really showing this problem. But maybe a lot of other people are having the issue and don't even know it on lower spec machines and don't know how to even diagnose that they have this lag stutter. So I'm going to show you some examples of what it looks like, and then I'm going to run down how to actually get rid of this stutter once and for all. So to fix this microstutter issue on your CPU, we're going to need two bits of software. The first one being MSI Afterburner and the second one being Process Lasso. Now this software is to actually do the fix and this software is more of a diagnostic. This is really to highlight and show you guys at home what it looks like to get microstutter and to show it in a graph form. So it's just easier to read if you, if you can't read the signals for yourself. A lot of players out there just don't have the intuition or a good PC to know that they're actually got this micro stir on top of their lag that they've already got on their low spec machine so msi afterburner kind of highlights that a little bit easier once you're in game so hence why i'm going to show this method as well but if you want to go to the fix you could probably skip to later on in this video and you'll probably find all the information there too so let's go into msi afterburner and basically once we've loaded this up we want to go into the settings cog here and on the on-screen display here we want to set a hotkey uh, toggle on screen display. I've set this to, well, page down. And then we want to go into the monitoring tab and select CPU usage. If I can find it, there it is. Sorry, went past it. And basically, we want to select all our cores that are on our processor. So I've got 12 here. So we want to click this box down here. Now we've highlighted them. Show in on screen display. And we have it as a text file. Great. And then scroll down a little bit more because we want to find frame rate. And here, what we want to do is turn on the same box. But we also want to make sure that text and graph is selected because the graph really demonstrates and shows us that micro star happening in real time with some really good highlighted vertical lines kicking in on, the, on that FPS bar. So you'll see that once we jump into game. So once you've done that, there is another little bit of software that comes with MSI Afterburner called uh, Reva Tuner. And basically it's hiding down in the taskbar down here on the right hand side. So we want to just turn on this last option, which is show on, show on screen display. Make sure that's ticked and then let's head into game. Okay, so now we're in game. We've got the, uh, the stats up on MSI Afterburner and you can see them in the top left. Um, we can actually see immediately which is the problem core on our CPU. So CPU 11 is spiking up to 100 as well as CPU 9 as well. So these cores are causing this micro stutter to occur. Now, if you see it when I run across the map here, you see the line for the frame rate, which is the graph being drawn. That should be pretty much a smooth line in the majority of the time. Of course, you're going to get some lag spikes here and there, but... We're seeing constant vertical line spikes coming down, causing these issues as I run across here. Now, this can obviously make your mouse skip, cause really bad sort of movement glitches as you're moving around the map like so. And it just doesn't feel very nice. So we can actually fix this and I'll show you what it should look like, the graph. You give me a second. So now I've disabled core number 10 and its CPU usage has gone down considerably. That line is now way more stable. There's less vertical streaks coming through it. It's not causing as many issues whatsoever. In fact, no issues whatsoever now. So dead smooth, no weird jerks. CPU stutter is gone. So I'm going to show you how to do that using process lasso now. Okay, finally moving on to the fix now. And remember, we're going to need process lasso for this. So make sure that you've downloaded this. So once you have installed it and it will open up like this. And as you can see, it looks a little bit daunting, but honestly, don't worry about it. We only need to look at this graph here, which has all the CPU uh, cores listed, etc. And it's listed, importantly, from 0 to 11. So all your 12 active logical cores are listed from 0 to 11. Whereas we look at MSI Afterburner once we're in game, you can see that the cores are listed from 1 to 12. So while CPU 11 is 100% here and is the, obviously the core that's the issue and we want to turn it off, it's actually kind of listed wrong. Uh, so 
you want to make sure that you're in process lasso and you hover over the core which is at 100 as we can see number 10 here and basically i run this in windows mode so i can run around and see which cores are active which ones are reaching 100 percent they're going to go pretty high when you're in game but it's important to note just to focus the ones that are actually peaking at 100 percent and turn those off so now that we know that it's core number 10 we're going to actually go into the all process tab here and then you want to probably scroll down until you find hyperscape once you found it we're going to go into the cpu affinity we're going to click always and then we're going to find number 10 core number 10 and then untick it as you can see it's drastically dropped down uh, so that should have solved the issue but we want that to always solve the issue when we load up this program and when we're playing hyperscape so we want to go into options cpu and then configure persistent cpu affinities and basically we see hyperscape there it's already pre-ticked that you did it in the menu just just a second ago and basically we want to click more strictly enforce the default affinities okay once you've done that that should fix the issue now you can turn off these cpus in windows a lot of people will go oh i can just do that in windows but every time that you start up a new instance of the game or you know you join a, a new lobby the core will become active again hence why i use uh, process lasso to solve this issue and as you can see as we're running up and down this street like before it's a hell of a lot smoother on our graph now and it's absolutely lovely and i'm just getting shot try to do a video here chat so hopefully you found this video useful for fixing your micro stutter on your CPU. Just remember though, there are lots of different reasons that causes micro stutter. So it might not be your CPU that's causing your version of it. Uh, and unfortunately, I don't have a solution to fix those as I didn't run into those errors myself. So I'm hoping that you guys did find this video useful and I hope Ubisoft get around to fixing this sort of CPU issue that's currently out as well. Hopefully they fix it in a next patch but i'm going to be doing some more hyperscape content in the future so if you like this sort of thing make sure to give me a, a like and stuff and also i stream on twitch all the time so drop me a follow there too and uh take care guys and have fun